All right, so let's talk a little bit about the Aero OS and um, a little bit of its history, okay? Now, software before, wireless line controller software before Aero OS 7.2 basically had bridge mode, okay, for IPv6. We're still talking about IPv6, right? What were the functions available at IPv6? And really, it was bridging. Client supported by bridging function. Uh, this was through a multicast that we'll get into later and allowing the bridge uh, wireless LAN, I mean, the wireless LAN itself to have IPv6 enabled. So through multicast and bridge. Uh, multicast uh, and wireless LAN bridge mode being set up. Next, we were able in, in software 7.2 to dual stack client support for IPv4 and IPv6. So run them at the same time. And then we had a, a client support for IPv6. So we actually had support. In wireless LAN control software 8 and later, guess what? We're full, we've done the full Monty. Native IPv6 features. We have brought in all those IPv6 features and even phase two infrastructure modes. So we've gone to the infrastructure and enabled IPv6 there within their infrastructure. So as you can see, the progression has been a complete adaptation of IPv6 into the software. So I'm not the only one saying IPv6 is coming, basically. Everybody is preparing for this. So here, let, let's talk about this uh, wireless LAN controller 7.0 I bridge mode for IPv6. There was no intelligence here or filtering at the wireless LAN controller. So ICMP version 6, those packets, there was no type of control whatsoever at this layer. We didn't do anything. Multicast was enabled on the controller. And IPv6 was enabled for the wireless LAN. That's how we made this happen. That's it. No control over IP ICMP version 6. And that's a shame because multicast IC, ICMP version 6 message are required for all clients. It's sent to all the clients. This provides client connectivity. So this was not controlled at all. It just went all over the place. That is in contrast to when we added more connectivity. We allowed client mode, our clients now, at IPv6 level. We now controlled the ICMP version 6 messages. And we interpreted them by the controller and only forwarded them as needed. Remember, this is chatty. We are chatting on this network with those ICMP version 6 messages, those router advertisements. Everything that's going on is being shared. Now, these ICMP multicast messages are, are then transferred into unicast on our wireless LAN controller. Our wireless LAN controller said, okay, we're going to transmit this into layer 2 now. So we had, we converted these multicast packets into unicast at layer two and only gave them to the clients who need them. So not everybody out, out here was now receiving those ICP version six. This saved on things. I no longer, we had better addressing, right? Because I could control those ICMP version six multicast messages. We had better addressing. So those routing advertisements weren't going to everybody. And I could control who received neighbor discovery messages and router advertisement. Not everybody was receiving them. Better addressing. I could control those router advertisements. I could even stop router advertisements that weren't meant to be sent. So other routers in my environment, if I had another router, couldn't take over the Slack process, couldn't start addressing my wireless clients. Very important. So better addressing. Great. Also, this saves battery, folks. Saves batteries on laptops and any mobile devices. We're using wireless out there because they don't have to process every single one of those ICMP version 6 multicast messages sent out because multicast messages are now converted to unicast at the wireless LAN controller level. We now can uh, interpret the, con the commands and interpret the controller can interpret it and only forward it as needed. So this is excellent. 
Excellent. Now we also had NDP working here, the neighbor discovery process. And that neighbor discovery process could track up to eight clients. Okay, I mean, excuse me, eight addresses per client. So this, this unit here could have eight addresses, eight IPv6 addresses. And this one could have eight IPv6 addresses. And this could be per service or however it is you're using those addresses. But we could track up to eight of them now at the wireless LAN controller. Really cool feature. We only have one IPv4 address that's going to be assigned in our IPv4 addressing, and then we use ports from there. IPv6 says no, we can use a completely different address for that. We'll still use ports, but we can use an entire address for it. Really, really cool. In 7.2 or, or later, the unicast was allowed automatically. We no longer required that global multicast. Okay. So lots of things happened in 7.2 in our client mode. Big changes happened. And it all stems from the fact that our wireless LAN controller could now control those ICMP version 6 messages. 